Pablo turned over before he felt the bed move and then begin to shake. All of a sudden he could hear running through the street. A sudden breeze blew across him and he could smell something smoky. Loud voices outside of people yelling, screaming and shouting came from all around. But there were no protests at this time of night, he thought. It was dark. Pablo began to sweat. His heart began to race. A tingly feeling ran down his back from the top of his neck. The entire apartment block suddenly jumped and leaned. Then violently, he heard a loud crack, and then a fantastic sound, and then an almighty crack. He was thrown up into the air. His body flew, spinning wildly around and around, feeling the wind rush past him. Pablo landed hard, on all fours, his hands and knees pushing down into the wet carpet. It smelt damp, like it was covered in sand. Somehow he could feel the grit between his fingers and the dampness of wet leaves. And he looked out to his left. A light came streaming across the forest floor. Suddenly... Pablo woke up, reaching out for his water bottle. He had had this dream before.